So about that CO2 imprint. That's the amount of carbon dioxide you're personally responsible for polluting Earth's atmosphere with. I love my sister to death. We're like this. I read somewhere recently that you can reduce your CO2 imprint just by reducing the speed that you drive to no higher than 60. She's very conservative, much more conservative than I am. And she's always like, you know, correcting you, which drives me crazy, and always correcting even people she doesn't know. She'll stop them on the street and she's like, I'm sorry, you said that. That's grammatically incorrect. No, I don't. See, if I'm doing 60, I'm releasing 19 pounds of global warming carbon into the atmosphere and getting, well, 30 miles per gallon of gas. But at 80? Now I'm up to 25 pounds of global warming and only 23 miles per gallon of gas. And she's like, I went to Harvard. She ended up paying back her student loan for forever. I went to a state school. I paid mine off right away. <laughs> And we both got the same degree, a BA. But mine is, you know, special. Have you ever tried doing 60 on a freeway in Los Angeles? Even the hybrids want to pass you. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Mom! Whoa! She wasn't even that close. If you're that nervous, you shouldn't be driving. Yeah, and you know what? Your brake light is also out. It is? Thanks, Mom. I'm now 20 minutes late. Sunday morning, grab my coffee on the way. Sun so bright it hurts when I put my shade. the car, zip my coat, take a deep breath, and head on in. Fallen pine waits for me, I settle in. And the buzzing of the bees, I gossip on the morning, and the breeze in the leaves, like an old pump organ, no symbol of a car. Feels like church.